Some people can't press the PTT button on their radios due to a physical disability, and that means they can't use their radio. Well, the solution is to modify a K1 connector. The K1 connector, if plugged in fully in its original form, will turn off the microphone and the speaker. We don't want that. We want to still use our radio. So what we're going to do is figure out which pin connects to the shield on each one of these and we're going to short it out. The way that I did that was with a simple 3D print. Here I've got a slightly oversized uh, keyboard key switch. I printed a PTT button and just to give it a little more stability I put it in a base. This button is very very easy to press and returns but you can do it with almost no force. The weight of your few fingers is enough. So we plug the jack into the back. When I press the button on the first radio, the question is, does the light come on the second radio? And it sure does. I can now press the button to transmit on one and receive on the other. And I still have the onboard microphone and speakers. A simple modification you can make to let somebody with a disability use their radio.